Hi, it's Jan Howell here with another easy sewing tutorial. This is a great time of year to cozy in and start making some fun Christmas decorations. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy Christmas stocking with a contrasting cuff and an inner lining. So easy to make. So I'm going to go over the different types of materials that you can use. There are so many options to make a unique, fun Christmas stocking. Click on that subscribe button and let's get started. Let's just start by going over some of the options there are when you're using this pattern. You can use the whole solid print for the front and back or you can piece it up like I have with this upcycled sweater. You can use denim, corduroy, upcycled sweaters like I mentioned, just regular cotton prints, flannel, lots of different options and there's lots of different fun ways to embellish it. You can add jingle bells, ribbons, and as you can see I've used the cuff of a sweater here, the bottom cuff of a sweater, and also here. Added lace, so many different fun things. So get out your sewing scraps and even your upcycled clothing. So because of the big size of the pattern, you'll need to just put it together. Really easy to do. Take the three sections, sections A, B, and C, and tape them together after you've cut them out. I'm going to use this flannel piece for the outer covering, this stripe woven fabric for the inner lining, this upcycled pair of jeans for the cuff, and this contrasting woven olive green color for the loop for hanging. The other items that you'll need is a pair of fabric scissors, some pins, an iron, and of course your sewing machine. Now you can do some of this with the serger or you can just use your single needle machine. Let's cut out the outer covering with this flannel. I'm going to be using the, it for the front and the back so I'm going to cut out two pieces just by folding the fabric over to double it. If it has a stripe or a plaid like this that you need to line up those lines with, make sure you do that. I'll line up the top of the stocking with the top of that plaid. Do that same thing with the lining piece. So I have two of the lining and two of the outer cover. Let's cut out the loop. Fold my fabric in half, align that edge with the fold. That's ready, now let's cut out the cuff. So I've opened up this pant leg of a pair of jeans. I have a tutorial just for upcycled jeans that you might wanna check out. I'm gonna fold that in half because we need to put this cuff bottom on the fold. And you just need to cut one of these out. Okay. 
So the first thing we'll do is sew the outer lining and then the inner lining. Bring the right sides of the fabric facing in. Sometimes it's hard to tell the right or the wrong side, so it really doesn't matter like this piece of fabric. You can pin it if you want to in a few places. And I, I'll show you on the sewing machine and then I'll show you on the serger what it looks like. And then while I'm at the sewing machine, I'm going to sew, fold the cuff in half, just like we cut it out and with the notches lined up, just sew down the side there. And with my tab, I'll fold the right sides together and sew down the long edge and turn it inside out. So let's, let's go to the sewing machine. I've set my sewing machine just to a straight stitch. I'm using just a basic neutral thread, which is white. I'm just using a basic universal needle. Hopefully that'll be fine and with the denim. I may need to up it up to a stronger needle. I have a PDF guide that you can download and print that, give, that lets you know what size needle you'll be needing. So I'm using a 3 8 inch seam allowance, just the edge of my presser foot, back stitching at the beginning and at the end of my seam. barely cutting a little off with the serger knife. and then fold it in half. Line up the seams and the raw edges. So a little trick about turning tubes inside out there are different devices that you can use, but if you just have a simple safety pin, just pin it to the to one layer at, towards the end and stick it in the hole and start pulling it out. And we'll give that a pressing with the seam in the middle. And we'll set that aside for a minute. Let's just give our stockings a good pressing with the seams pressed out as much as possible. I love this mat, this felted mat ironing pad. We're 
we're going to leave the lining piece unturned so the wrong side is facing out. I'm going to take my hand inside the lining piece and stick it inside the stocking outer cover. Then I'll line up the seams and pin it in place. This is where it all comes together. I'm going to fold the tab in half with the seam on the inside. We're going to baste it in place. And open that up and center that tab on that back seam and pin it in place. And we'll just take it to the sewing machine and just with the quarter inch seam just baste along the edge there to keep that tab in place. Take your cuff, fold it in half with the seam on one side, and we're going to mark the center point with a pin. I'm going to find that back seam and align it with the back seam of the stocking inside. So we're going to put it inside. We're going to be sewing through several layers of fabric here centering that on the center of the tab. And pin it in place. Line up that center point of the cuff with the other seam. Pin it in place. And then we're going to sew all the way around using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And just take your time and make sure all the edges are even. So I like to sew a little bit and then adjust. Because you're working with four layers of fabric. You might have to pull it a little bit to make sure everything's pulled tight. It's probably not liking this. Nope, didn't like that. So, yep, we're switching to a denim needle. When you get back to the beginning, back stitch. Pull the cuff out and we're going to press the seam towards the cuff.
So we press that up and we're going to flip that cuff over and voila. You can take and press that edge if you want to. There you have it. Not too bad. Fun little project, wasn't it? So for those of you who are wanting to make these upcycled sweater scrappy looking stockings, just get into your sweater scrap box and pick out some color. They need to be wide enough for the stocking. That one would work. That piece would work. And you can either use a serger. See how I've just exposed this serger stitch on the outside just to give it that rustic look or the seam on this one is on the inside. So just take a bunch of pieces and of course get a straight edge. And all you do is sew a bunch of pieces together. So I would sew that, flip it up, and then decide how big I want that piece and cut it. And then add another one, sewing down there, flip it up until you have enough fabric and scraps to lay out your sweater stocking on and then cut it out. So you have a panel of scraps. And then you would just sew a plain solid color on the back. So I hope that was helpful in any of these classes or if you have questions, please feel free to send me a note either via email or in the comments below. There you have it. Pretty fun, simple project, right? Just think of all the color combinations and different kinds of fabrics that you can use. This is a project that even a beginner sewer can do. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for some more upcoming holiday crafts and projects. Simple, of course. We'll see you in the next class.